They catch drivers barreling through stoplights, perhaps right into your path. But tonight, Dayton and lots of other local police departments are trying to figure out how they can use red light cameras under a new law. Evening, I'm Jack Atherton. Deb has the night off. Our Elise Coulter is live to explain what's next for those cameras. Elise? Jack, right now you can be ticketed if you speed past this camera or if you run this red light. However, in March, that'll all change and that can be, could mean cameras will go away. Watch carefully. Cars are stopped at this red light at Edwin C. Moses and 3rd Street. Then this happens. A car flies through a red light and slams into a Dayton cruiser. Dayton police believe this is the perfect example of why the red light cameras should be there. Our crashes have decreased at all our intersections that are photo enforced and uh, we feel that if these cameras do go away that uh, we may see an increase of crashes at these locations. That's not the only serious crash the cameras have caught. This car sped through the red light and slid under this tanker. But now since the governor signed the new legislation into law, the city of Dayton is trying to figure out what happens to the cameras. If we're going to be able to sustain this program, or what our alternatives are. The biggest problem with the new law for departments is that an officer has to be physically sitting near the red light to catch the driver. Can the city afford them? Uh, we don't think so. It would cost the city anywhere from five to six million dollars to have an officer sitting at each of their 20 cameras. The revenue from the tickets wouldn't even cover half of that. Last year they brought in 1.7 million dollars. They need to get rid of them. They need to get rid of them because it's entrapment. It's taking people money. They got a policeman just watching this red light and want to watch it like he sits there and watch people with a, with a speed gun. I don't have nothing wrong with that. I don't have nothing wrong with that as long as he catch him and not the light. The city is meeting tomorrow to see exactly what they need to do. And according to them, they had budgeted for next year $1.4 million into next year's budget. That would have come from the cameras themselves. And the city manager tells me without that money, they might not be able to repave some of the residential streets they had planned to do and also buy new police cruisers. For now, reporting live in Dayton, Elise Coulter, ABC 22 News.